Hi and welcome to chendu.org. In the second installment of our how to analyze half a million customer complaints case study, let us talk about how to do regional trend analysis and uh, explore some of the visualizations. This is just a quick demo of the visualizations that you have in this part of the case study. For more information, explanation and the downloadable workbooks, please visit uh, chendu.org website. You can find the link for the website in the description of this video. Uh, so let's move into the regional trend analysis. I have prepared three visualizations. One is what I would call as a as a dashboard or, or a report format uh, and two of them are maps. I'm going to start with the report format because uh, although map based visualization to understand the regional trends is uh, quite tempting, uh, in my opinion, they are not the best way to represent the data. This is because um, in a map based visualization, a, a state that has very small geographical area uh, would be crowded by the other states that are bigger geographical area and, uh, you know, giving equal attention to all the states is hard. Uh, the other aspect is even if a state has more geographical area, that doesn't necessarily mean there are that many people or that many complaints coming in from that, that area. So uh, to avoid all this confusion, I have chosen to do a report format first. This is what I would call as a comprehensive analysis. The other two analysis that is map based visualizations, uh, they, they offer some extra insights as well. So for this, what we have is a table structure with 12 states at a time. Uh, and uh, you can see the state name here and, and the annual trend between 2012 and 15. Now, if you remember from part one, we have data from 2011 to 2016, but uh, the, the data for 2011 and 16 is partial. Only one or two months data is available. So uh, it's not, uh, a good idea to analyze partial data. So I choose the full years from 2012 to 15, four years worth of data. And we have your annual trend here and you could see that 2013 was a spike for Arkansas and uh, um, you know other other states depending on, on their numbers, you would see a spike. Uh, and um, uh, and you have beginning and ending numbers there and a percentage change in each state that experienced more than 20 percent change in the complaint rate is highlighted so that you could see the problem states or the states where there are too many complaints now i won't really worry too much about this rate because there could be other factors here you know the state has experienced uh, significant um, population increase right when that happens uh, naturally there are more people living there so more people are complaining so we can't really look at uh, 112 and 116 and immediately conclude that uh, this is a problem but at least highlighting that will help you investigate the issue there uh, and then we have another sparkline set which is for 2015 trend uh, only for the 12 months in 2015 we are drilling down and showing that particular year how the trend has been so again you can spot some uh, similarities or, or, or ask some questions we have also the top three issues for that particular uh, state in the currently selected product. Right now we have selected mortgage, so you can see uh, what are the main issues uh, within mortgage for people in Alaska or or Kansas. I don't even know what, what AL is, I think it's Alabama. So uh, we can figure out what is uh, what are those issues, okay? So now let's go ahead and um, and, and explore some of the additional features here. Uh, you can sort this report by default, it is sorted in alphabetical order, but you could say, hey, show me based on the 2015 count. I want to know which states have most complaints in 2015. So it's, it's in descending order. And you can see California has uh, 6,999 complaints in 2015 and uh, Although that's very high, they have also experienced a negative change. That means they have reduced the number of complaints from previous year, which could be a good thing. You know, it could be of any number of reasons because of population migration or uh, external initiatives from the banks to reduce the complaints or whatnot. 
okay uh, another aspect that i have done is instead of looking at absolute numbers and uh, you would expect bigger states like california new york and florida and texas will obviously have more complaints because there are more people living there so to kind of fix this problem what i have done is i have added indexation feature so when you index the data you would see in terms of relative uh, relative numbers which states have experienced most change so again uh, the sort order would not change in this case because we are still looking at the sort by count but if you look at sort by percentages uh, you could see that for example dc washington dc has experienced most dramatic change uh, 55 percent and uh, uh, and their uh, absolute numbers they started 2012 in 100 and 2015 they are at 155 so quite a bit of change there okay the other aspect here is you can uh, select any other product for example you can select credit reporting you can select uh, credit cards or consumer loans or whatnot or you can even select all when you say all you're seeing across all the product lines how is the trend like again when you select all the sort order changes because when you are looking at all the products north dakota or texas or these are the states that figure in the top now we are only looking at 12 states at a time what if you want to see more states you can use the scroll bar to the right left hand side and uh, scroll through the list depending on the scroll bar position you will also know how many more states are there on each side of the scroll area so you know that this is just a partial picture okay there is a bit of uh, explanation given here uh, i would encourage you to download this file and play with it if you're curious to know how the calculations are done again i'm going to do a very very brief explanation here the calculations are all driven through pivot tables and calculation worksheet tab where we are uh, using a whole bunch of formulas like uh, sum ifs index named ranges and uh, and large formulas and match and whatnot okay so there is a whole plethora of things here go ahead and check it please uh, make sure that you're not editing the calculation worksheet because uh, anything that you inadvertently do like without realizing what that does uh, you might spoil the visualization so keep a backup in case that's that's uh, a problem that you're going to get into explore the meta and data worksheets to understand more about the numbers behind this particular uh, report okay so now that we have seen the first visualization that is regional trend and analysis let's quickly explore the other two visualizations as well we have here um, i think that's the one yeah we have here uh, consumer complaint data uh, and as i said visualizing by maps is is a very tempting proposition especially for this kind of data right so what i've done is i have used the 3d map feature available in excel 2016 uh, to showcase these numbers on a on a geographical map of united states and uh, here is one map which is by state you can see how many complaints per million in this case we are synthesizing the data with uh, population numbers so that we we look at states based on the number of people they're living living there and analyze how many complaints per million of population are there so you could see that although california has highest complaints it's not the state with most complaints per million uh, it looks like this state or i don't really know because i don't live in us so i don't exactly know the ex every state name there uh, but you could look at this map and see that any state that has above average complaint rate is also highlighted uh, so that you can immediately spot some trend for example all the coastal uh, and all the states on the border especially on the east coast and uh, you know they seem to be having higher than average whereas the states in the middle there are not many complaints either the customers are too happy or uh, there are other re reasons to explore okay we have also um, i have also prepared a visualization at the zip code level uh, this is not uh, very very accurate or 100% uh, scientific but it is a very very good approximation of what we have uh, and this time we are analyzing complaints per thousand and there are a couple of graphs here let me show you how this is actually set up uh, this is just a snapshot of the actual map uh, the map is part of your 3d maps which is uh, i think that one and this is basically a complete full-blown interactive experience of the map uh, you can uh, highlight any particular state for example you suspect this state nevada has higher cpm complaint per million and you can see that in nevada 793 
complaint per million that million that means uh, 793 complaints for every 1 million population and you can also see compare it to 2012 how that number is so in 2012 we have 271 so there is pretty high uh, growth in terms of cpm as well mm, and uh, there is maryland with 853 and uh, probably New York with 583 and uh, Ohio, the state where I lived once, uh, is 461. So you could analyze like this. You could hover on any state and understand their numbers and uh, and see the tool tips, etc. Uh, you could also scroll through this map and explore Alaska and a few other regions that are omitted. Right now I'm using 2D visualization, but you could go uh, disable the flat map so you could actually look at it uh, like a globe. Uh, with some really cool animation there and uh, and play with this okay so that's how you can use the 3d map feature to do a lot of analysis you could even add your own layers and animate this whole thing produce a video from it embed into a powerpoint or something like that and if about that we'll talk about 3d maps feature in future articles of chendu.org for now let's go ahead and uh, conclude this video thank you so much for watching please visit chendu.org where you can obtain the more instruction detail and and the download workbooks for this particular part of the case study thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video in case you do please give me a thumbs up and uh, i'll talk to you again soon bye bye